catch a rabbit by his head. In what has quickly become one of the concert events of 2015, the Grateful Dead are preparing for one final run of shows dubbed Fare Thee Well, which will be the band's final swan song and a celebration of their illustrious 50th anniversary. The shows will take place at Chicago's Soldier Field on July 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, which was the band's venue for the final performances back in 1995. Formed as the Warlocks in 1965 in San Francisco, the band soon changed their name to the Grateful Dead, and the rest, as they say, is music history. They were one of the world's highest grossing touring acts year after year until the death of founding member and legendary guitarist Jerry Garcia in 1995 forced the band to abandon its name, leading each surviving member to tour with their own band and try to recreate the Dead's music on stage. The four surviving members, Phil Lesh, Bob Weir, Mickey Hart, and Bill Kreutzman, will be joined by keyboardists Bruce Hornsby and Jeff Comenti, along with a very special edition of Fish guitarist, Trey Anastasio. Anastasio will take over the guitar duties for Garcia. Of all the guitar players who were considered to fill in for Jerry at the 50th anniversary shows, it's Trey Anastasio that brings the most excitement from fans around the globe as the band has already seen over 400,000 ticket requests for a 60,000-seat venue. Artisan News recently caught up with Mickey Hart to discuss his thoughts on the Grateful Dead's decision to enlist Anastasio and how serious he's taking the job of filling in for Jerry. I think that was a very smart and good decision. You know, Trey is a wonderful guitar player. He's studying it every day. He's out there on the beach and, uh, now, uh, picking his guitar, listening to Grateful Dead music. He's taking it very seriously. Mickey also spoke of the difficulties the band is experiencing in accommodating so many ticket requests. You know, how do you, how do you, fit, you know, you, that's a problem. But we're trying to figure out how to deal with, you know, a million, million. Uh, tickets, you know, or, you know, but I'm really looking forward to the Soldier's Field, Soldier Field, uh, an over, overwhelming demand, now that's the problem. As of press time, the Grateful Dead have notified their fans who were lucky enough to get tickets for the three-night Fare Thee Well run of shows. With so many ticket requests for a 60,000-seat venue, it's only natural for many fans to get shut out. The band moved up the Ticketmaster pre-sale to meet the extremely heavy demand, and the online sale briefly crashed Ticketmaster's site before selling out all the allotted tickets within a matter of minutes. There have even been reports of three-day tickets selling for up to $15,000 each. With hotel rooms in Chicago being snapped up almost as fast as tickets, more than 11,000 people have signed a petition requesting that the city of Chicago grant overnight parking for those who want to camp out. No word yet from the Windy City if overnight camping will, in fact, be allowed. Fans not lucky enough to get tickets can always hold out for the live stream of the event, which the band is already in the works for to stream the shows around the country at a few venues, as well as streaming for individuals interested in seeing the band's final performances as the Grateful Dead from the comfort of their own homes. <laughs>